What's up guys? I'm Kai from Lucas Lane and Royals. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top five animals that I produced so far this season. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you the top five animals that I've produced thus far this season. Now I know the timing of this video may seem a little strange because my season hasn't actually ended yet. Usually I would wait until the end to show you all of my favorite animals. But because this time around my breeding season got a little bit funky, I actually got two peaks to my breeding season. Got a ton of eggs and clutches in the beginning. Then I entered in kind of a lull and now I'm kind of ramping up and uh, getting into the second peak. So I figured this would be a good time to show you the top five favorites that I produce so far. That means I'm gonna have another video later on of another five animals that I produced in the second half of the season. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell. That way you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, so now let's get into the top five animals that I produced this season so far. All right, we're gonna start off strong with this brilliant animal. Check this out, this is so badass, man. Look how gorgeous and bright this thing is. The back end of this, oh, that is just so sweet. And to be honest, I don't really know all the genes that are involved here. Um, I think this is a calico, pinstripe, red stripe, and chi. Maybe there's orange dream in here as well. Possibly yellow belly. But look at this. I mean, the top really really intense orange up top and then towards the back end it just kind of fades and has this pinkish yellowish orange white it's such a soft color towards the tail end it's just so nice to look at um, sometimes when i look at this like i think of sherbet like orange or mango sherbet because this looks so soft so sweet it's like it's like if there's a orange flavored cotton candy, this is probably the color that it would come in. But man, this is such a badass animal. And this guy really, really likes to go. And I hope that this one is going to be able to breed for me next year because I got plans for this. I can go in so many different directions with this guy. So many different directions. Really happy with the way this one turned out. He likes to move. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back in... Uh, We'll get out the next one. This is absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at this animal. Wow, look at that. Have you ever seen a pastel calico like this? I mean, from my knowledge, I know this to be at least a pastel calico, but there's other genes in the mix uh, red stripe and extreme gene were in the pairing. Um, I don't know if they're exhibiting themselves, but this has got to be the best looking pastel calico I've ever seen. Look at that, just so cool. This girl's a little bit feisty. I gotta be a little bit careful here, but look at the whites on the side. Check out the belly, so white, so clean. And she's gorgeous and bright and the whites go up so high along the sides. Check that out. Look at that. Fantastic. This is amazing. Amazing is my go-to word. So whenever I don't know what to say, I say amazing. Because that's, uh, that's what this is. Look at that. Look how busy that pattern is right over here. On both sides. That is gorgeous. And this also happens to be... 100% het for clown. Yeah, so uh, there's going to be some hets in this video, but there's also going to be some visuals. Wow, I just can't get enough of this girl, and she is doing ridiculously great with food. Is that even the term? Does that even make sense? Ridiculously great? All right, let me go ahead and get out the next one to show you. So I told you we got some visuals, and this is the first visual on this video. Wow, look at this. 
Look at this, look at the colors, look at how much pattern there are. This is obviously a pied. Um, the codoms involved in this one, pastel and fire. So this is the very first firefly pied I have ever made and she is going to stay here and be part of the breeding project. She's doing, well, absolutely ridiculous on feeding as well. I'm just gonna use that and uh, make it mine, even though it sounds a little bit funny. So check her out. Look at that. I mean, she, like I said, she is doing really well. She's doing really, really well. Um, she's growing much faster than her clutch mates, which uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit later. Um, don't wanna make this video too long, but I mean, this is just super, super bright. And she's not being feisty at all. She's being nice and calm. Just look at the colors. Let me give you a side shot. Look how high the whites go up. And it's, it's like a nice dorsal line. You can see it, it's like getting faint, but it's staying pretty much uniform. Um, it's got a nice dorsal, you don't get any of that wacky pattern. Um, I don't know if all Firefly Pies are like this, but this one is sure pretty. Surely pretty, I think that's what I wanna say. Sometimes I get lost for words when I look at these. Man, this is awesome, and the colors are so bright. I think this is just gonna get richer and richer as it gets older. And I can't wait until I can get her to breeding size. Wow, look at that. One more shot of that head. Beautiful. All right, let's move on to the next animal. And here he is. This is a killer leopard clown, possible extreme gene. And just look at how awesome he is. I love what the leopard does just raises all of those teardrops up and makes that pattern all dotted and busy. Um, it also makes the dorsal stripe nice and narrow and thin. Uh, this is definitely a super pastel. You can see the blushing on the dorsal. You can see how faded out that head is. This is one of my favorites from the clutch. Actually, there's two from this clutch that I just absolutely love and this is one of them. Check that out. Man, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. So he is definitely, definitely a contender in this video. Man, this is awesome. I don't know what other words I can use. I'm running out of adjectives. Phenomenal, fantastic, spectacular. This is spectacular. <laughs> Look at that. Is this capturing the colors? I think this is really, really close. I mean, on camera, it's a little bit more, um, not duller. Um, it's not dull. It's, it's just a little bit darker. Um, you're, you're actually seeing very close to what I'm seeing. It's just that the definition is a little bit different. But overall, I think you guys can see this is a spectacular animal here. All right, let's go on to the next one. So before we get to the last one, a couple honorable mentions. This one is the clutch mate to that killer leopard possible extreme gene clown. And this one is a super pastel het clown and I think that this has extreme gene in it as well. I mean, you can see how bright this is in comparison to a regular super pastel. That head is super blushed out and right behind that head, you can see the eye band connecting, forming that line down to here where my thumb is. Um, yeah, I just think this is extreme gene. And um, I, I, for some reason, have considered selling this animal, but seeing it now after it's shed out she's gonna stay here she is not going anywhere look at all the blushing look at that side coming up you can see little like alien heads trying to come up here and uh it's like detached and floating other aliens are floating look at that wow wow and you can see let me show you 
Hopefully she'll let me show you the side of her neck. Come on, look at that. Look at that. Look how uniform those alien heads are. I think those are signs of a extreme gene in the mix here. <laughs> she's a little skittish, but uh, you can see she's moving around still curious. Uh, that's a good sign. Doing really well with feeding. Whoop, 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 whoop. Calm down, girl. Calm down, come back. Let's get one more look at you before I put you away. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's go out to get the next one. Let's bring out another honorable mention. Check out the stripe on this girl. She's got two little breaks, one there, one there. But other than that, she's got an almost perfect stripe down her back. Yeah, I'm a fan of the stripes. Um, this girl is a blackhead Mojave, 100% heifer pied. Yeah, we can't have all the clowns dominate this video. So we got to throw in a heifer pied just to even things out. Like I said, this is a blackhead Mojave and you can just see the contrast, the blacks against that gold back dorsal stripe and all those alien heads, all those bullseyes that just float up. You can see on both sides. She's got gorgeous, gorgeous alien heads. And let's take a look at her busy belly. Look at that. Now her dad is also the same genes. Um, Blackhead Mojave, 100% heifer pied. But she looks better. And uh, like I said, every generation we want to make it look better than the previous one. And there's no exception. This is no exception to that rule. Look at that beautiful stripe. You probably thought this was an extreme gene, huh? But let me go ahead and get out the next one. So speaking of extreme gene, this right here is a pastel lesser extreme gene. And that extreme gene striping down the dorsal is very very obvious here look at that look at that striping all the way down now i don't think pastel and lesser usually do this um, so that's why i'm feeling pretty confident that this girl has extreme gene and i am working with that trying to get it into clown and this girl is head for clown so she is going to stay here look how bright that belly is look at that Man, this is awesome. And a lesser, I don't have any lesser clowns, lesser het clowns, and this girl has both the lesser and the extreme gene. Um, well, at least I hope she has the extreme gene. Um, and het clown. So in about two years, at a minimum, um, at the earliest, maybe two years, I can get her into the breeding project and uh, she'll hopefully produce some visual clowns with those genes with those codons a lesser and the extreme gene but yeah this is man i wish this was i wish this was a clown already because look how bright this girl is and look at that perfect stripe super awesome super awesome look at the alien heads on the side they're just floating up uh, like a letter i there and then over here we got them melted into each other all connected they're just all like crazy crazy all right now let's go on and get the number one holdback of this season all right i messed up earlier i did not mean to say number one holdback of this season what i meant to say is number one holdback of the first half of this season because i got plenty more to show you i just don't want to take up too long um, but this one this one look at this Firefly Enchi Clown. Firefly Enchi Clown, one of the very few female clowns that I produced this season. Uh, if you guys have been following me on, on my channel, you know that I've been striking out uh, for the most part with female clowns, getting a lot of male visuals, but not so many female visuals. And uh, this is Feeling really lucky to have produced this girl. Man, she is awesome, awesome. This is a Firefly Enchi Clown. Just look at that color. 
look at that color there's a little bit of these black specks in between so i think just one more dose of maybe pastel or fire or even enchi orange dream yellow belly anything like that to remove that just that little tiny bit that's remaining and this would be the bomb look at that i mean she's the bomb already but we can always make it better and that's kind of what i want to strive for just trying to make it a little bit better every time and i hope this girl is going to be able to help me do that wow look at that look at that gorgeous gorgeous all right so those are my favorites i do have other ones that i produced but i try to keep this limited to five as to not make this video too long of course you guys know i snuck in a few other ones hope you guys don't mind that about wraps it up for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell as always thanks for watching please share and i'll see you guys next time